With more Americans getting the COVID-19 vaccine every day, we'll soon reach a point where more of us will be going back to the office or place of work on a regular basis. So that's gotten some businesses thinking about whether they could actually require their employees to get the vaccine as part of coming back to work in order to keep their fellow employees as well as customers safe. So could your job make you get the shot? ABC's Andrew Dimbert has this story. For the better part of a year, as the pandemic crescendoed to unthinkable heights, the nation's top health officials have long maintained it would take a vaccine to really turn the tide. When your turn comes up, please get vaccinated, both for your own safety, for that of your family, and that for the American community in general. And as two vaccines have arrived to the public since December, the CDC says more than 40 million Americans have rolled up their sleeves to get the shot. More vaccinated Americans may signal a return to the days of going back to the office and cubicles, to assembly lines and kitchens and bars. But what if that return was dictated by the vaccine? Put another way, can your boss force you to take it? Arguably, yes. Charles Craver is a law professor at George Washington University and says, while there are some exceptions, your employer can likely mandate all employees get the shot. Employees who work for private employers are employed at will in the United States, which means I can terminate you for good cause, bad cause, or no cause at any time. And so if you don't cooperate with me and you don't have a religious issue, you don't have a Disabilities Act issue, and you don't come under some state law, I can terminate you if you're not willing to have the vaccine or to come to work where you're getting tested. As COVID vaccines become more widely available, it's a question many employers, from large corporations to small businesses, may soon have to face. United Airlines CEO Scott Kirby said recently that the company is looking into requiring employees to take the vaccine, while noting other industries would need to buy in to make a requirement work. I think the right thing to do, uh, without question, is to make the vaccine mandatory. And what I hope is that there are a coalition uh, of like-minded companies that will do the same thing. And I think if that does happen, it will just get the ball rolling. So with more employees reimmersing themselves back into those close daily interactions with customers and coworkers alike, should employees face getting the vaccine over getting fired? Anybody who wants to not get vaccinated, it's their body. And ultimately, they're responsible for their own body. Jason Berry is the founder of Need Hospitality in Washington, D.C., and owns multiple restaurants. Instead of taking a punitive approach to employees getting the shot, he's rewarding those who do. As soon as the vaccines are available, we'll be offering a variety of incentives for our employees because we want to encourage them to do it, even though we're not mandating it. That includes uh, four hours of pay as a bonus when they're fully vaccinated. The extra incentive isn't without reason. A Kaiser Family Foundation poll from January suggests about a third of the overall public is taking a wait and see approach to getting vaccinated. That's higher among minorities, with 43% of black adults and 37% of Hispanics saying they want to wait to take the vaccine. And roughly three of every 10 non-healthcare essential workers feel the same. Sue Wilmont is an essential worker at a Safeway grocery store near Seattle. Since the onset of the pandemic, even with strong COVID safety recommendations and guidelines, she knows how hard it is to still protect yourself and loved ones, even with masks and social distancing. It's why she doesn't think there's much need for a vaccine directive. Sue's ready to roll up her sleeve now. It would just make me feel safer. It would make me feel like I'm not going to bring it home to my family. It would make me feel like I'm not going to pass it to my my neighbors, my customers, it would just, it would be a comfort to me to get vaccinated. And I, I am just waiting for that. And Joe Fasula of Garrity Supermarkets in Pennsylvania says the decision not to require his employees get the vaccine comes down to a matter of choice. Uh, we don't think that that's necessary. We think our employees, uh, you know, can make an informed choice. And uh, quite frankly, most of them are, are very eager to get it anyway. It's that sort of choice Mark Perone of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union says he's prepared to fight for if his union members are required to get the shot by their bosses. But if the employers come to us and say, look, we're going to mandate it or we're going to put somebody off the job, we're going to we're going to represent our membership. And while more companies and small businesses are opting for rewarding or encouraging their workforce to get vaccinated, if your boss does make it mandatory, you may be left without a choice. Well, the employer does have a legal obligation to maintain a self and healthy work environment. And that includes protecting the individual employees themselves and their co-workers and, protect and customers. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, Washington.
Many people have been asking that question. Our thanks to Andrew for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.